And right now, Broward County leaders are replacing the building where the shooting massacre happened at Stoneman Douglas High School. Today, we have a first-hand look and a look inside the construction site. Let's go to Local 10's Roy Ramos live down to Parkland to show us the progress being made there so far. Roy. Calvin, and the construction on this project began in July of last year, and construction is well underway. You can see that building there off in the distance to the south side of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. It is nowhere near that 1200 building located on the north side of the campus. Now, we also got a chance to speak to Lori Alhadef. She is the mother of Alyssa Alhadef, one of the victims in the MSD tragedy. She says that the completion of this building will be a step moving forward and also provide the chance to heal. It's a building that brings back so many painful memories, but for the first time we are getting a closer look at the construction site where a two-story building will stand that will replace the 1200 building on the campus of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. It is also one more step we are taking to heal and to move forward. Broward County Public School Superintendent Robert Runcy saying the new addition is set to cost $18 million and will include the construction of 30 classrooms, three teacher planning spaces, and offices. The new building will include security features that include fencing and a single point of entry called controlled access points. Our goal is to make our campuses um, the safest campuses uh, in the country. And still a lot of work to be done, but you can see that the foundation has been poured. The exterior of the two-story building has been completed, and we're told that right here in this area, there will be a water feature that will serve as a reflection point for students and staff. We want to create a very peaceful, tranquil water feature with possibly an eagle representing overlooking the, the safety of this building. Plans have long been in place to demolish the building where a gunman opened fire, killing 17 people and injuring 17 others on Valentine's Day nearly two years ago. But the building still stands because prosecutors say the crime scene is key evidence and should remain standing through the length of the criminal trial. And that 1200 building still stands on the north side of the campus. When I spoke with the superintendent, I asked him what would go in place of that 1200 building when it is demolished. He did not have an answer for me, but did say whatever decision was made, it would include the input of the Parkland community along with the families of the MSD victims. As for this new building, it is set to be completed in August of 2020. Here in Parkland, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. All right, Roy, thank you.